Hi, I'm Sam and I'm the owner of WebsiteRight.co.uk and in this video I'm going to tell you how to get a free domain name for your website that costs absolutely nothing. If you're in the UK, there's a link below and um, yeah, if you click it you can get a domain name for free. Excellent. Hey, if you're wanting a domain suffix for anywhere else like .com, .net, .io, .it, whatever, check the description below as well because I've got the best links in there to get the cheapest possible domain names, including a few coupon codes here and there. But um, firstly, what is a domain name? Well, that's the address that people type in on their browser in order to find your website. So to put it in layman's terms, um, like on a sat nav, when you type in an address, it takes you to a destination. Now in web terms, the destination is the server, i.e. the place that contains your files, your photos, your databases, all your media items. The address or the domain is the, the thing you type in in order to get there. But it's best to have a domain that is memorable. So here are my tips for finding the best domain for your business or company. One. Make it short and snappy. You don't want anything too long. If you're reading it out over the phone to someone, then you don't want them to be making mistakes when they're writing it down. It needs to be really memorable. Plus, if you've got any words that have multiple spellings, for instance, like the word for, that can be spelled F-O-U-R, it can use the number four, or the F-O-R version of it, then you don't want to have any confusion. When you're telling people your email address, you want it to be easy to remember with as little mistakes as possible that they can make. So the first time they type it in, they find you straight away. Two, if you're in the UK, go for a .co.uk. There's been a bit of debate about domains and what's good for search engines over the years. Sometimes it was better to have a domain with hyphens in because then it splits up the word. Not so much anymore, but if you're a UK business, it's best to have a .co.uk or .uk domain suffix. So go for one of them and Google will realize much more quicker that you're in the UK because you may have American hosting as well. So if you get a .com and you've got hosting with HostGator that's in the US or whatever, how does it really know that you're in the UK? Get a .co.uk and get UK hosting too. Three, check your domain that you want or your name has not been trademarked. Just type it into Google and have a quick look around. If you're in the UK, you might want to look at Companies House. However, yeah, it's just worth making sure you're not treading on anyone's toes because obviously you want the domain name that you want, but you don't want to be having court cases either. It happens very seldom, but do check it out before you go and buy that domain. Four. Is that four? Yes, yeah, four. When you are having a domain name, if you're not using your company name, for instance, mine is Website Right. If you're gonna say, do something like Bournemouth Web Design, how do you know that that's better than having Bournemouth Website Design? Because there are certain terms where you might wanna have a generic domain name, but there could be other terms that are actually more popular that people type into Google. So it's better to have a domain that's at least got the keywords that people are typing in. One tool that you can use for this is called Google Trends, where you can compare two keywords. So for instance, if you've got a, a website that sells children's toys, do you, do, do you go kids' toys or children's toys? If you go to Google Trends, you can do it region by region and then type in the two keywords and see what's more popular. And obviously, go for the more popular one. Five, I've gone Roman numerals there, clever, hey? Check that the uh, domain that you want is available on social media platforms as well. So if you're gonna have a name, go to Facebook and see if you can register that. And Twitter as well. Now Twitter has a character count on its names of about 15 characters. So the at, and then you can't have any more. Now, if your company name's 16 characters long, you're in a right old dilemma because you have to miss off the last name of your company. That's really annoying. So check whether they're available on Instagram, Facebook, a YouTube channel even, but you do need 100 subscribers before you can actually choose your channel URL. Uh, Pinterest, all that lot, see if it's available because I don't know, maybe it's an OCD thing, I'm not sure. However, I just get really frustrated when you've got a name and you think, great, I've got it on Facebook, 
got it on Instagram, got it on Pinterest, my website's got that, it just looks perfect. And then Twitter, it's been taken. And then you have to add like UK after it or one or change it all around. And I can't stand that because I love to have that complete branding experience. It's really difficult to get it right because so many names are taken up. However, do keep that in mind when choosing a domain name. Finally, my sixth tip is to make sure that when you buy the domain name, don't fall for the tricks that many companies seem to do, like GoDaddy, for instance. They always want to upsell you stuff. They want to upsell you email. They want to upsell you all sorts of bits and bobs, whereas your hosting will take care of that for you. So they'll probably try to sell you privacy protection. However, with the GDPR rules anyway, your data is protected regardless, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, they'll upsell you all the way. So just go for the basic domain and make sure, if you want to, you can go for two, three years to make it a cheaper price. However, if it's a new business that you're doing and you don't really know where it's going, just register it for a year, take the cheapest price, and then you can always renew it later on. However, yeah, it's just to be wary because a lot of these companies do have hosting added on as well. So they will try to get you to host with them. However, there are usually better hosting options elsewhere, like me, where I can host your website, give you nightly backups, free SSL certificates, all that jazz, whereas they will charge for that. So just be wary, just get the domain, you can worry about the hosting later on. But now, let's tell you how to get that free domain. Let's go on the laptop. So I'm now just going to type in the following address, websiteright.co.uk forward slash free domain. That's websiteright.co.uk forward slash free domain. And you'll land at a page that looks like this. It's got a text box now where you can enter the domain name of your choice. Now you'll see that www. is already populated. So I'm going to go for web developer Bournemouth. Uh, co uk now at this stage i've got to say please do check your spelling because you don't want to be going ahead and purchasing an address that's spelled incorrectly i've done that before and it's horrendous so there we go web developer bournemouth let's hope it's available so i'll click search domains and yes you can see it's available which is fantastic now if there was a red cross there we'd have to go back and then find an alternative, maybe go web hyphen developer hyphen Bournemouth. However, this rolls off the tongue, so this looks pretty good. Um, I've chose Bournemouth, by the way, because that's where I'm from, which makes sense, doesn't it? Now, you'll see on the right-hand side, here, it says £1.99. That's because, as I said, they do try to upsell you along the way. Sometimes they pop things in your basket without you even saying so, which I think is a little bit cheeky. However, what it's done here is added the .com as well. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm just getting the .co.uk here. However, I've got to say that if you're a small business and you do want to protect your brand, sometimes it may be worth purchasing the .com version of your website address as well anyway. As you can see here, the price is pretty good. You could try to get it from someone else at a cheaper price if you wanted to, because there are coupons available where you can get you know, 99 pence domains. However, you know, for the sake of a quid, is it worth it? But you're unlikely to get two free domains from the same company because once you've used one, it'll take away that credit and then it won't gift you any more free domain names. But anyway, as I said, for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to remove it now from my cart and I'll click the checkout button here. Again, what it's doing is trying to upsell you along the way. So we'll click no proxy and then click continue. And there you can see we are now on the checkout. Now, all you need to do is enter your details, pop in your contact details, enter your address, create a password, create a memorable word, all that jazz. And then you can continue to payment. Now, you do need to add a card. It has to be a valid Visa, Amex, Maestro, or what's the other one? Electron card, but it has to be a valid card that you're using. If I didn't say MasterCard, you can use that too. And this just verifies that uh, you are firstly a real person and not just a robot that's purchasing this. Uh, also, it is to make sure that 
for the next year's payment it's got it on file anyway now you'll find that these guys charge at a very similar price to most of the others anyway but you might as well get that free domain with these guys here so yep just proceed and then all you need to do once you've typed in your details is click payment and then you're done it will email you all your logins and then you'll get access to your dashboard where you can play around with your domain and decide what server it's pointing to so I hope you enjoyed that video. That shows you how to get the free domain. Now, please, if you enjoyed this video, do hit the notification bell and subscribe, but do it the other way around because all my tips and all my WordPress series of videos, as soon as they're uploaded, you'll be alerted to them. Thanks for watching.